Have I turned on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what's happening today? Well, uh, Andy Murray's retiring. Sad, not, very sad. Not our own Andy Murray, unfortunately. The other one. Of course, the, yeah. The real one. Disappointing. And uh, Activision and Bungie have split up. What? 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 <laughs> Hello, you sexy little swine. So, yeah, after months of rumblings about Activision being unhappy with the way Destiny 2 has been performing, they finally announced that their partnership after nearly 10 years is coming to an end. And as all breakups are by their very nature, business or otherwise, it's going to be a bit messy and there's a lot to analyze. So let's jump in. First up, and perhaps most importantly, is that it will be Bungie, not Activision, who's keeping the Destiny IP. This shouldn't come as too much of a surprise though, as the original 2010 contract stipulated that when the partnership did indeed end, it would be Bungie keeping the property, though Activision would get the first pass on the option to publish more. If it was ever in doubt though, the official statement on this split has made it clear that Activision aren't really interested in being involved in the future of this franchise, or any franchises really, because they have like, what, three three games on the go now? But why has this partnership ended so abruptly? Well, the problem seems to have been the sales of Destiny 2. Back in November, Activision singled out Bungie's title as being one of their products that performed under expectations sales-wise. Though the game still sold well, the disappointment probably had more to do with the active player base, which allegedly was dropping off far quicker than even the first title, even after it was offered out on free services like PlayStation Plus. If there's less players around, then there's fewer people buying microtransactions and DLCs like the recent Forsaken expansion. And as we've covered in previous videos, Activision, more than any other publisher out there, thrives off these in-game purchases. Also, it's important to note that bad sales or not, the contract between the pair was up next year anyway. The original 10-year deal was signed back in 2010, and while there was a stipulation that Bungie were to ship four Destiny titles alongside four major expansions in that time, something which they obviously haven't achieved, Activision seemed done with trying to make this one of their core franchises. Despite all the juicy goss though, this is ultimately a good thing for the franchise and for Bungie. As per Kotaku's report, the team apparently were popping champagne and cheering when they were given the news, which is almost the exact same response they had to splitting with Microsoft almost a decade ago. Apparently there have been tensions between the two companies since day one, with neither side being fully happy with the arrangement or the end products. Bungie clearly see this as a win then, and now they'll have way more freedom as to how they develop their games and what kind of business models they can adopt. There is a darker side to this fallout though. While Bungie were indeed the main developers on Destiny and created the IP, they've been receiving help on the project since the very beginning from both High Moon Studios and Vicarious Visions, two absolutely stellar Activision-owned teams. While these two departments used to create their own games and sadly don't really anymore, they've mostly been working as a support for this franchise. So with Activision making cuts across the board and now with no active project for them to help with, what becomes of these studios? I have no idea, but I hope to God that it's not bad. But what's next for Bungie in the future? Well, they seem committed to continuing Destiny and making it better than ever before, but there's also that $100 million deal they signed with NetEase last year to produce an original IP, of which we still know absolutely nothing about. Whatever comes first though, and whatever Bungie decide to work on next, there's far more options on the table than there was a day ago. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is Activision splitting with Bungie ultimately a good thing, or are you worried about this once great developer continuing to fall from grace? Either way, could you give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. We'll no doubt have more information on this in podcast form or another video at some point either today, tomorrow, going into next week. There's going to be so much fallout. But until then, I've been Josh, you've been watching What Culture, and I'll see you soon. Bye.